This week's parsha is about the Bidnei Kohuna, the clothing that the Kohenim wore, the Kohen Gadol and all the Kohenim. L'chobar l'sephoraz. The splendor. Now the halach is if a coin, a coin does his avoda, but he's not wearing the big day kahuna. Doesn't work. The avoda is possible. Null and void. The service has to be redone. The Gemara learns it out of the word kohen that appears in the Pasik. He's got to be biki who know. He has to be in his kohenhood. And what's that? The clothing. He's not a kohen. He's missing something in, in his kohenhood by not wearing the big day kohuna, the appropriate clothing for the kohen. Which means that the purpose of this the big day kahuna is to affect him, to turn him into somebody else. I don't want to talk about clothing. If you think I'm getting up here to make an appeal for uh, black hats, got the wrong person. <laughs> I want to talk about the fact that we have to take ourselves seriously. The coin needed his big day kahuna so that he realizes the greatness that was bestowed upon him. He's to feel, he's to feel that elevation. If you don't know how great you are, you can't accomplish. You know, this world has some people with an inflated self-image. But you know something? There are very few of them. Perhaps in the past, that was the, the ailment. Today, the issue is people don't believe in themselves. You know, the guys that make the most noise and are busy putting everyone around them down are doing that because of their own low self-esteem. Everyone knows that. The way they sort of build themselves up is by telling themselves that everyone else is worse than them. or at least convincing everyone else that they're better, because they don't think that people have anything to respect. Them. There's so much to do, there's so much to achieve. We don't think it's so realistic because we don't believe we can do it. We just don't believe in ourselves. The human being, the human being has a brain, has a heart, and above all, has a neshama. There's a piece of God inside you. There's no end to what we can understand, and there's no end to what we can do. We give up. Oh, this is unrealistic. What do you want from me? That's not, that's not me. We got to believe in ourselves. We got to believe that we're Tselem Elohim. 
Hashem gave us free will. That means that we can choose the right thing, even if it's difficult. And we can live with difficulties and grow from them. And not just complain. We gotta believe in ourselves. Or what we do is limited. The coin God walks into the Holy of Holies once a year. Different clothing, by the way. That, that, that's the closest place one can get to Hashem. And if he's not what he should be, he drops dead on the spot. Oh, he better believe in himself. Otherwise, it's a suicide mission. How do we get to believe in ourselves? So I don't know what clothing, what clothing is going to do that for you. But I do have some advice. Number one, stop doing things that make you disrespect for yourself. That's one. But most important, We have this, this, it's the it's hard or no question. We have this, this tendency to undermine ourselves. We have this tendency to focus on our failures and forget our accomplishments. We walk around, all we think about is all the terrible things we've done and all the things we haven't been able to accomplish. The Yates of horror won't let us forget. Yetzirah means your instincts. This is a psychological instinct we all have to prevent us from moving out of our comfort zones. Be as little as possible. Be as small a person as possible. Don't undertake anything too big. This way you'll never fail. But you'll never do anything important anyway. <laughs> this is the Eight Sahara. Come on, you never did anything that you didn't think you could. And push yourself. Every so often when you know you know what the right thing to do is, but oh, it's difficult. Give yourself a push. I'm doing this for myself. I'm doing this to prove myself that I can. Gotta build yourselves up. We give up too quickly. We don't even entertain the possibility that we can be successful. Do something difficult. Do something you don't want it to. And feel great. Feel great. Feel that cell and Olakim in you. Feel that godliness in you. You got to. We're put in this world for a reason. The Jewish nation has so much to do for mankind. And anyone who knows the truth has so much to do for the Jewish people. It'll never happen if you don't believe in yourselves. And when you think, ah, I'm just being dreamy, let's be practical. 
this practical word. It's a profanity. It's the word people use to get out of thinking big, to get out of pushing themselves. Of course, you've got to be practical in the real sense. Of course, you've got to have real plans. You can't just expect things to happen. But plan big. Pragmatism means first you dream and then you figure out how you're going to get there. Not that you don't allow yourself to dream because it's not practical. First you determine what has to get done and then you work out how you get there. We got to believe in ourselves. You got to believe in what Hashem put into you. You got to believe in the strength he gives you on demand. You want it, you got it. That's the big tikkuna. The lachavar lesefaris, turning it into a coin. Find your big day kahuna and it's not clothing. Find your big day kahuna. Find what it is that's going to make you the coin, the leader, the doer, the one who can do what's uncomfortable and really change the depressing reality. There's so much to every one of you. There's so much to every one of you. I think I've met everybody here. I haven't met a single loser. Know how great you are. Do. Do. Make demands on yourselves. You're great. Don't accept the lies of the eight Sahara. You're great. Remember that. 